Well, good morning. You're watching Morning at NTV. Time for us to take note. And if you have looked through the country, we're a country with a lot of small, uh, you know, sized companies, a lot of SMEs, and sometimes there's, there's no structure to them. And I think over time we've been called to sort of structure our business, to take advantage of all uh, that comes from it, profits and much more. Uh, joining me today to talk about the top 100 mid-sized companies survey, what it is, what it would mean to you and your company, is uh, from KPMG, the Director of Tax and Corporate Service, Peter Chambade. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, viewers. Yes, and I have from DFCU Bank, uh, the Relationship Manager for Oil and Gas Business, and that is Nawire Irene. Good morning. Good morning, Flavia. Good morning, viewers. Yes, uh, I was about to say, I, I, Peter can talk about KPMG, but I might represent DFCU <laughs> around here. Just remind you, this is how you plug this Sunday, the Battle for Cash uh, Season 2 starts. Now, <laughs> let's talk about mid-sized companies. I was saying that KPMG and DFCU Bank don't fall in the medium-sized companies, Peter. They, they are top. Is it top? What do you call the, the ones after mid-sized? Uh, we are in the big. Big. Companies. <laughs> big yeah. companies. Mm -hmm. But uh, so if we all both agree, Peter, that this is a country with a lot of uh, small-sized companies, why is the discussion around mid-sized companies? Uh, the discussion today mm. is about mid-sized companies uh, because, as we all know, mm. small and medium-sized companies uh, form uh, about 20% of our GDP, mm. and they employ uh, more than 4.5 million people in Uganda. And as such, it's a very, very important sector yes. within our country. And uh, as KPMG and uh, Nation Media Group mm. within the region, uh, we started this initiative of the Uganda Top 100 medium-sized companies. Yes. Uh, this initiative essentially was to uh, showcase the business excellence uh, of the medium-sized companies mm. so that this can be identified okay. and they could be assisted mm. uh, for purposes of helping them to grow mm -hmm. and be sustainable. Okay. Because one of the statistics we have in Uganda also mm. is Uganda is an entrepreneurial country. Yes. However, Many businesses die in their first to the second year. Yes. So that is also a concern that we had. Why are we not growing beyond the first year? Yes. And uh, there are many reasons mm -hmm. uh, for that. One of them was the way we structure our businesses. And the fact that as we start our businesses, we have not looked at how we are going to sustain them the structure of the businesses and the fundamentals mm -hmm. that we need to put into consideration as we start. Mm -hmm. We also, of course, have issues with uh, financing, financing and managing yeah. of <coughs> those finances. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, speaking of financing, I think this is one of the biggest issues, um, Irene. Yeah. People talk about capital being an issue, but also you know, refinancing their business. And they talk about loans. Some say, I won't enter the bank because if I do, that might be a bigger problem for my business than mm -hmm. a solution. Yeah. Um, DFCU Bank, like um, Peter mentioned, we understand that uh, SMEs have a big contribution to make on the economic growth of yeah. this country. We understand that uh, many of them face challenges mm -hmm. and um, we have been in this sector for decades, providing solutions to help them grow. And uh, for this reason, DFCU Bank chose to support KPMG and Monitor as sponsors for this uh, survey so that uh, we can reach out to more SMEs and uh, let them know that uh, the banks, especially DFCU Bank, has something to offer for them something that can support them grow, mm -hmm. something that will be able to help them grow in their business. Uh, we do understand that uh, many of the SMEs are faced with uh, a challenge of uh, lack of security, which uh, they can present to the banks to be able to get uh, financing. Mm -hmm. And because of that, many of them shy away from the bank. And uh, like Peter said, many of the SMEs end up dying within uh, the first, the first year. Yeah. Yeah and yet uh, they would be able to be helped. So for that purpose, we decided to join uh, this uh, good cause so that we can reach out to the SMEs and let them know that uh, we have innovative products, products that are specific for them, 
For instance, if you do not have security, you do not have to shy away. Please come to DFCU Bank. DFCU Bank has a product mm -hmm. that is specific for customers who do not have security. And uh, we will definitely be able to support you and grow with you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Peter, when you spoke about um, uh, the survey, you talked about identifying and assisting these companies. Uh, this started in 2009, right? So I'm trying to understand 2009 to 2018. What have you identified? Let's start from that. Uh, what are the patterns with these mid-sized companies? Uh, as you identify them, as you uh, do these surveys, what have you noticed? What are the patterns, the good and the bad? Okay. Uh, over the 10 years that mm -hmm. we have done this survey, uh, every year we have at least 300 companies that participate, okay. over 300 pump companies that participate. Mm. And we have found a trend mm -hmm. of issues, some of them challenges and then the positives that okay. we have seen. Yeah. Uh, one of the positives is we have seen growth in survival of these companies, uh, which is a good statistic that uh, originally, uh, as we are starting, mm -hmm. we saw a number of entities living above 10 years, 11 years was less. But now you have over 60 companies that are participating uh, within uh, the age of 10 to 15 years. Okay. So which is a good statistic that uh, we see that uh, there's more sustainability mm -hmm. because companies have taken up uh, better ways of managing okay. uh, their their businesses. Mm -hmm. We have also seen corporate governance growing. Mm. Uh, originally, when we started, the number of companies that would say they have boards yes. uh, that manage their businesses were very few. Mm. But now, among the participating companies, you find over 80% of the companies participating mm -hmm. have uh, boards that manage uh, the companies, which is also helping in corporate governance and helping also to ensure that there is better uh, management of uh, the business and as such mm -hmm. sustainability. Is that one of the issues you had talked about and saying that there's no structure and that lack of structure is a big problem? Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, lack of structure has been a big problem mm. and we are seeing that is improving. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to be done uh, in terms of uh, how they manage their finances, okay. how they manage their personnel, mm. uh, the structure they have, let's say, for IT, mm -hmm. the strategic plans that they, they are having. But we are seeing increasingly uh, this is getting better and better. And one of the things we do once we have done the survey is we hold forums. Okay. Uh, because as we do the survey, one of the things we try to find out are the challenges that these companies are facing. Okay. And based on the challenges that are identified during the survey, then over the year, we hold forums with specialists mm -hmm. to address these challenges, challenges okay. and help these companies to make sure that they find solutions mm. to those challenges. Okay, so let's just walk through the survey. So what you do is you survey 100 or you survey a few companies and then get the top 100? Uh, so the survey, first of all, the structure of the survey is uh, voluntary okay. and there's a criteria that we follow for people to voluntarily participate. As I said, the survey we are doing is for medium-sized companies okay. and they should have a turnover between 360 million okay. and 25 billion. That's one of the criteria? That's one of the criteria. 360 yeah. million to? 225 billion. Okay. Then the next criteria is they should have audited books of accounts mm. for the last three years. For example, the survey we are doing currently, the companies participating should have audited accounts for 2017, 2016, and 2015. Okay. Because one of the parameters we use mm. for purposes of ranking is qualita quantitative analysis, yes. where we look at the financial ratios mm. of these entities. And then uh, for purposes of... Uh, uh, ensuring that there are certain parameters uh, we do not go into, mm. these entities should not be on the stock exchange. Okay. So those are the <laughs> three criteria that we follow. And once, uh, so for that reason, we have two questionnaires that we give out. Okay. A qualitative questionnaire which looks at 
the qualitative aspects of a business, like corporate governance, mm -hmm. like number of staff it has, staff policies they have, mm -hmm. marketing strategies they have, challenges that they're facing. Okay. And then is, we this have a, is, is this at your research or I, I tender in and say these are the challenges I'm facing or would you observe and also see your own? Uh, no, you submit your, cha your okay. challenges because it's a questionnaire mm -hmm. which you complete mm -hmm. and then when you give us back that information, then we analyze okay. and then uh, come up with a report mm -hmm. to see what interventions that we can give. Okay, so that's qualitative, as you were saying. Yes. And then the quantitative? Then the quantitative looks at financial ratios, okay. like revenue growth, mm. looks at liquidity, return to shareholders. Mm. And now those are the ratios but which we use for purposes of ranking. The reason we use ratios yes. is because uh, we are not looking at absolute numbers. Because you can have a company mm. Which has a 20, which is a 25 billion company in turnover, yes. but maybe it has not grown for the last five years. And they had stagnant. a good year. Yeah, they have they have a fair year. Okay. But they have not grown because which <laughs> okay. means if they have not grown, then that means not a very good year. Mm. So in terms of parameters of what would be ranked as mm. a top 100 company, mm -hmm. one of them is rate of growth, growth is important. So it doesn't matter how much as long as I'm growing. Yes. So okay. you, you may be a 25 billion company and a company which is a 600 million company mm. does better than you. For example, yes. if it has grown from uh, 360 mm -hmm. to 700 million, yes. that rate of growth uh, from a growth uh, ratio, it would be better than a company which is at 25 billion and That's maybe last it. year it was at 24.9. <laughs> okay, so you want a consistent growth. And that's one of the quantitative things you're looking at. And then you also said, of course, it, it, it shouldn't be on the stock exchange. No. Is the third uh, parameter that you're losing. So that's qualitative and quantitative. You said it's voluntary. And you had talked about over 300 companies that had s participated in the past years. Yes. So in the past years, every year we have over 300 companies oh. participating, of which then, using the quantitative analysis, mm -hmm. then we rank them. Okay. and pick out the top 100, All right. which now form the club for that particular year. Okay, so top 100 doesn't mean that number one is better than number five? Not necessarily. Let's say from a from, uh, turnover amount yes. ratio, yes. turnover absolute number, Yes. you may have number one having a turnover of 1 billion, mm -hmm. and number 10 having a turnover of 20 billion. The okay. reason <laughs> yes. is... The growth, r for example, the one of one billion, mm -hmm. for that year it would have grown maybe by 80%. Okay. And the one of 20 billion could have grown by 10%. Okay. You may find the one of one billion could have returned to its shareholders mm -hmm. a bigger percentage than the one of 20 billion. Right. Uh, so that the return to shareholders, the way they manage their money and mm -hmm. uh, the, the returns they're having is better. So, uh, yes, uh, one of... Uh, the ranking does not necessarily mean that absolute numbers. Mm. I go getting uh, you top position. Yes, okay, yes, so true. it's from one to one hundred according to performance, obviously, yes, and according to growth. Uh, so um, I'm wondering if if I have consistent growth, I might be number one this year, number one next year. Number one. It's possible, and it's fine. Yeah, it's possible. It's okay for a company to return and keep. Yes, it's fine. Okay. As long as it has not gone beyond the 25 billion mark. Mm -hmm. Because once it goes beyond the 25 billion mark, then it goes into another club, which we call Club 101, which, oh. we ans which would want all companies to grow okay. into. But before it goes there, mm -hmm. yes, can continue being number one. Okay. Yeah. So, so Club 101, just uh, tell us, because SMEs are wanting to get into mid-sized. Mid-sized want to get into? Club 101. Yes. So that how much are you making at Club 101? Uh, at Club 101, you're making over 21, 25 billion. Billion. Yeah. Okay. So once you make over 25 billion, mm -hmm. then you cease to be among the okay. top 100 members mm -hmm. and you go into the Club 101. That is the big companies, which then mm -hmm. become mentors to the, small, right. the smaller companies. Okay, speaking of mentorship, I'm just wondering for those companies, uh, the over 300 companies that do participate, I mean, what, what do you serve them in this survey? What, what is, apart from being ranked in the survey, what else do, do I get? Okay, as I indicated earlier, of course, you get ranked, mm. but because during the survey, we have 
forums. Uh, we, we, we identify challenges. Mm -hmm. And then over the year, we hold forums to address these forums. For all the participants? Yeah, for all the participants. Okay. For the participants. So now, these entities are invited for these forums. Mm -hmm. For example, just last week, we had a forum about sustainable business growth, okay. where we invited uh, uh, our Haj Ibrahim Chibirige mm. of uh, BMK yes. to come and talk to these entities and give his story, how he has been able to sustain his business over 45 years. I think I saw something about that, restaurants and then... So is it categories as well? Uh, okay, now one of the aspects, forums have everyone. Okay. Now like the one which we had last week yes. was for everyone. Okay. Because the message was for everyone. Okay. Now, this week, that is tomorrow, yes. we are having a sector meeting okay. for entities in the agriculture sector right. that participated. Right. And we are going to get specialists to talk about challenges that they are facing in the agriculture sector and how to overcome them, mm -hmm. and then the opportunities that exist within the agriculture right. sector. Oh, that, that makes a lot of sense. So, um, to, uh, for companies to participate, they, they pay a fee, or it's just filling the, the two forms you talked about? It is absolutely free. Oh. Uh, so it's only about you volunteering okay. to participate as long as you meet the criteria. The criteria. So there's nothing to pay. Mm -hmm. You voluntarily participate. Mm -hmm. And then as long as you are willing to share your information, then you'll be part of the top I'm assuming, Peter, when I give you my information, you, can, you still go and vet and do your due diligence, do you? Uh, one of the reasons why KPMG is there yes. is to verify mm -hmm. some of this information. So once you give us that information, we do some benchmarks and analysis okay. of s that information to check levels of authenticity. Mm -hmm. But one of the key issues we uh, emphasize mm -hmm. is that your financials should be audited. Mm -hmm. So we put some reliance on the fact that if these are audited by a certified public auditor, mm -hmm. then that's one of our criteria we check. Yes. And then we also check to look at the ratios that you have provided to check consistency and also to confirm mm. the existence of, of some of our aspects. So yes, we do benchmarks. Okay. I, I think I'll, I'll be asking you just in a bit how the SMEs can also participate this year. But um, Irene, DFCU yeah. Bank is a sponsor and a partner, as you said. Yeah. And I'm wondering for somebody who's joining the top 100 survey, the 300 plus companies that will uh, take part voluntarily, yeah. um, what are you saying to them? Um, what we are saying to them is that um, DFCU Bank understands the DFCU Bank is one of the leading banks in the country and we understand the challenges, the needs and aspirations of most of the SMEs. Mm -hmm. We've worked with uh, many SMEs over the decades and we do have an idea what some of their needs are. Mm -hmm. However, from every survey, like Peter mentioned, there are challenges, I mean there are new challenges, new challenges that are identified yeah. mm -hmm. and based on that, DFCU Bank will innovate products that will be able to suit the growth okay. of the SMEs. And um, as DFCU Bank, we are saying, since we understand your challenges, your needs and aspirations, we are calling upon the SMEs to become members of DFCU Bank family by opening an account with DFCU mm -hmm. and transacting with us. And you will definitely get the support that you need to grow from one level to another, like Peter already mentioned. Okay. Yeah. So Peter, the SMEs um, obviously don't qualify in the three cri uh, criteria points you gave me. So how are they supposed to participate? Um, spectator? <laughs> because obviously this is the, their benchmark. They're supposed to learn how to get to that level. But how are they so participating this year? So the small and medium enterprises, mm. specifically this survey, mm. is geared towards the medium enterprises yes. in Uganda. Uh, participation, once you meet the criteria, that is, uh, uh, you, you have the criteria I talked about. Yes. Because if you are below that, unfortunately, you cannot That's participate. Those are, those, those are the ones I'm actually carrying Okay, for. so you're the looking at... The ones below that will so just... So the ones which are below that, uh, currently the survey will not cater for them. Because they will not... And that means the forums are also not open to them, I'm assuming. The forums are not open to them. Okay. Currently, the forums are not open to them, but we, we believe that when they hear and listen to the members, yes. that will encourage them mm -hmm. to keep growing their businesses, 
keep putting structures in place mm -hmm. to formalize their businesses so that they can also start make, taking benefit of, uh, of some of the, the benefits that these others okay, among so the top 100 are getting. So uh, I'm assuming this survey happens every year. S yes, it has been happening every year for the last 10 years because in Uganda it has happened now 10 years mm -hmm. from 2009. It is also regional, by the okay. way, because in Kenya it has happened since 2008. So it oh, has okay. this is the 11th year. Mm. And in Tanzania, this mm -hmm. is the 9th year. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So it is regional, still yes. being run by KPMG mm -hmm. and National Media Group. Oh, and it is within okay. each of those countries. All right. So um, is there a deadline? Uh, is there a call to action? Are they just starting now to participate? In terms of participation, uh, I'll start by thanking our, our sponsors, mm -hmm. uh, DFCU, uh, Uganda Investment Authority, and uh, ICA Group, okay. uh, because they enable this. And this survey this year, thanks to the sponsorship, uh, they, it started in June, oh, okay. and it's going to close uh, end of September. Okay. So we have just a few a more days. A week and something. Yeah, yeah. a <laughs> few more days to close the survey. Yeah. So we would really encourage Mm. as many uh, medium enterpri enterprises as possible mm -hmm. to participate before we close because there are several, several benefits that come with being a member of the Uganda Top 100. Okay, so um, those who are participating, anywhere to get those forms that you did talk about? Uh, so the forms can be picked either from the Daily Monitor okay. or from KPMG or you could call uh, uh, the KPMG numbers 0414340315 Mm -hmm. And there are people who would be able to help, be able to, help mm -hmm. to deliver those uh, questionnaires. Okay, fantastic. That's the top 100 uh, mid-sized companies survey, which started in June, the participation. They can go until the end of this month. As you said, to go to KPMG, you should be able to find uh, the forms and register. DFC Bank is a partner, and they're saying they, they, they know the challenges already that these companies are facing, but they also know that the trends are changing. Yeah. So a new problem could creep up, and yeah. you are ready to have innovative solutions to fix that. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, uh, that's it for Take Note and Morning at NTV. Have a good day.